I think in our own small way, the mint is a custodian of history because as we all know that coins last for thousands of years. It's a little piece of history you can hold in your hand. Because we're in such a multicultural country and there's all different things that we can commemorate, we have to ensure that what we do is has national significance. We really need to look at coins that have a wide interest to the community. My favourite coin would be our first hologram coin. It would have to be the kangaroo at sunset. I think that's a gorgeous looking coin. Well, coming from India, it has to be a Bradman coin, any Bradman coin. <laughs> I think it's the kangaroo at sunset coin. Um, when Wojciech first came up with the design, I loved it right then and there. It's a lovely design and I think it's one of, um, one of the best that's come out of it. I started here when I was 18. I'm now 44. When I um, first started we had two shifts running and we had um, coining presses that were running at around about 120 strokes a minute. Uh, we've got Schuler presses running here now that run at 600 strokes a minute. We've got excellent tools here, um, a lot of expertise. We um, work really hard to make sure that we deliver to the customer what they require and what they require is a top quality product. Two thousand and eight will be the centenary of rugby league. And that's a significant milestone in any sport. And we basically work with the centenary rugby league with the design of the coin. The logo of the centenary rugby league has come up fantastically on the coin. It's a once in a lifetime chance for fans and everyone involved with the game to to celebrate this great sport. We had a lot of discussions in marketing that we really wanted to get Reg Mombasa to design a coin. We were thinking of the overseas market and basically they were saying to me, you've got to get Reg. We're trying to really get the younger collectors involved in coin collecting. I think he was an excellent choice and he's proven very popular. It's turned out really, really well because people understood the cultural significance of what he had done. The playing of the football in the backyard. Australia is a very old country. We're now much more focused on the environment and what drives our environment and what we can grow here and what we can mine here. When I proposed the International Year of Planet Earth, it was just unanimous cross mint that yes, we should do that. The focus of it is actually um, looking at climate change and how we sustain ourselves into the future. It reflects the facts of thousands of years that have gone before us as to what we can produce today. We worked with um, Geoscience Australia on that project. It's just a wonderful coin and th that you could spend a long time looking at and, and picking out the very different little aspects of it. They reflect the years and years of change that have moulded Australia to be the country that it is today. I do feel like I'm, I'm part of the organisation. And I think if you're happy in your job and you're happy in what you're producing, uh, I think that comes out in the quality of the, the product. The only way you get to be in the top mint is turning out a quality coin year in and year out. Oh, very proud. Proud to be a minty. It makes you look really proud that a, a country as small as Australia can still produce a coin that stands very strongly against what the best in the world can produce.